Hi friends and welcome to my week of making. I thought it would be fun to record a week of my making and to share that with you. Really interesting to see how much I can knit in the week, what kind of projects I reach for and the progress that I am able to make in amongst working full time and running a household. <laughs> Life is crazy at the moment. I feel like it's so busy, but knitting brings me a sense of peace every single day and it makes me so happy. So join me as we see what I get up to this week, uh, what projects I work on and how much I can actually knit. I was inspired to make this video when watching Ali from This Little Wonderful Life's April vlogs. <laughs> I've been really enjoying those this month and I enjoy all of her vlogs. She also records an occasional week of making on her Little Drops of Wonderful channel as well. Yes, the other channel is This Little Wonderful Life. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said that right to start with. So thanks to Ali, I've been really inspired to record this. So hopefully you enjoy the snippets that I capture of the week and the knitting that I can fit in. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and it's really lovely to be able to share these things with you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to pop them in the comments. I will also link the projects that I work on throughout this week in the description bar below. And all of those projects are linked to my Ravelry project pages and the patterns are also there if they are released. <laughs> there is a test knit in this week's week of knitting that I am working on, so that pattern is not out yet. Maybe out by the time this is published, we shall see, but I'll definitely link the project page for your information as well. Let's see how we go. <laughs> I will find a place for us I will show you where to go I won't try to change your mind Cause I'm always on your side Time moves faster when you're by my side It's so easy to get knit and spend all day doing that but I realized the other day that I am participating in the Relay for Life in less than a month which requires walking over a 24-hour period and last year I was so sore after doing that because I had not been very active leading up to that that I thought I'd better do something about it this year and so I'm getting my shoes on my shoes <laughs> and I'm going to go for a walk. I haven't been for many walks since we've moved here so I thought I would try walking to the nearest little town that we have near us which I think going the back way will be about four kilometers to get there. That will take me probably an hour because it is an uphill a little bit so the round trip might be two hours, which maybe is a bit much to start with. So I'll see how I go. I might get halfway and turn around. We'll see. But when I get back, I would like to knit on my test knit. I am test knitting at the moment for Jane Bale from Mindful Making. And I'm loving this test knit. 
So yeah, I will share that with you as well. But yeah, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Someone just laid an egg. Thank you, ladies. This week's eggs are pretty impressive. I came back from my walk a little while ago and I've started making dinner, so I'll do that. And I also wanna do a bit of baking today because I've just realized I've got some bananas that are really ready to be used. <laughs> so it is getting quite late though. I tend to do this, the days just get away from me. It's already 5 p.m., but I'll make dinner. By that time, my butter should soften and my starter, which I'll use some discard from my sourdough starter. <laughs> and I think I'll make either some muffins or some cookies I'm not quite sure but yeah I'll figure that out in a minute but yeah I've got a hello fresh meal which is really simple that I'll prepare I'm not going to bother recording all of it I don't think because I just want to get it done but then I will hopefully get back to some knitting tonight that is the aim oh and I'm so glad we just got an egg we only have had two today some days we get four so that's a bit exciting and I'll be using some of our fresh eggs for the baking that I'll do later too so that's really nice to be able to use your own eggs and feed your family <laughs> it's really great oh, I'm looking really a bit disheveled but I just wanted to get my hair out of my face so I can do some cooking and I might not chat with you again today or I might the light's getting bad we'll see yeah this is meant to be a relaxed vlog I just want to show you what my week of making is like and the things in life that essentially need to be done even though I would love to spend most of my time making instead. <laughs> oh, that's something I forgot to mention. I picked up some acorns on my walk today and we looked up what variety of tree they're from and they're from an oak tree which is probably obvious to many of you who are watching that footage. Uh, but I'm not that knowledgeable on these things. So I picked up three acorns, brought them home. I've done a float test on them and two of them are viable. So I have popped them in a little Ziploc bag with some wet paper towel around them and they're in the fridge. And hopefully we will see them sprout in the next week or two. And then I'll plant them in a plant pot. And I think they need to stay in the plant pot for at least six months before I can put them in the ground. But I'm thinking I'll go for another walk and pick up some more because they're just on the ground on the road side. 
so yeah it'll be nice to propagate some some trees for our garden we've got such a lot of space here and i'm very keen to get some nice trees in our yard uh sort of along the boundary in particular so yeah that'll be exciting but yeah let's get dinner started and yeah some days coming to a rapid close which is always the way the weekends go so fast <laughs> First time I'm checking in with you today. I'm on my lunch break at the moment and I am going to knit a little bit on my sock before I head back to the office. So I got quite far yesterday. I did the heel snap and the gusset and now I'm just working on the foot. Now I did not get a chance to do any work on my test knit last night. I realized once I sat down that I only really have today left to finish this pair of socks. It is my husband's birthday tomorrow, so my plan is to gift these to him then. And I'm almost there. This is the second sock. I started this on Saturday. Yep, that's right, Saturday, uh, while we were away for the weekend for my husband's birthday. And it's coming along really quickly. It is a DK weight yarn. I don't think I have the tag with me. Oh, no, I do actually. It is by Finch Yarns. And it's their DK weight sock in the late eel. It is 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon, and 225 meters per 100 grams. It's a really pretty colorway. It's so nice. And I've also got a contrasting mini or two that I'm using for the cuffs, heels and toes. And they're so pretty. I love how it's working up together. So yeah, I thought I'd sit down before I head back to work. I think I've got about 20 minutes left now that I've eaten. And let's see how much of this sock I can get done. Work days are challenging in that I don't get a lot of making time. I leave pretty early for work and I work in an open plan office, so there's not really an opportunity to meet at my desk at any point in time. Uh, also, any meetings that I attend, I tend to need to take notes or actually it just helps me retain things better if I take notes. So I don't really find I ever have meeting time at work and my work is quite intense so I need to concentrate a lot and that doesn't really leave a lot of space for picking up a project throughout the day but I do relish the time over a lunch break when I have a chance to do some knitting and even though I really wanted to go for a walk today I really need to get this sock done it is a beautiful day out there though it is a shame not to be enjoying the sunshine <laughs> but it is what it is it's what happens when you take three weeks to knit a DK weight sock that you know you can knit in a day or two, but you procrastinated on it with other projects, which I tend to do sometimes. So I believe that I will finish this sock today. I think I have 40 rounds left of the foot to go and the toe. So I will keep you updated on that progress and hopefully I can finish it with enough time to pick up my test knit tonight as well. I'm hoping. <laughs> Wish me luck. 
see if my friend wants to borrow them. I'm going to keep um, the coping craft resistance. These two are going to go. The past two days is completely useless. I think I knit about 10 rows. So I'm going to pop another progress keeper up here just so I can keep track which means that now I only have 30 rounds left to go before I need to start the toe. So I am definitely going to finish this today. Hello, it is Wednesday afternoon. I have not had a chance to speak with you since Monday. That's terrible. It's been a busy time. Yesterday was a really lovely day. We celebrated my husband's birthday and so I didn't really record anything. I don't think I recorded anything when I got home. Maybe a snippet of me doing some knitting finally, but that was the highlight there that I did get a chance to pick up my test knit for uh, Mindful Making, which is the Gumnut Cardigan, and it is amazing. I only got through six rows, but it was a really nice bit of progress to make, which is great. So I don't have much time to chat with you now because I've got to be in my appointment in about five minutes. I am getting my hair done today after work and I have actually brought something new to start while I'm waiting for my color to set. And it's in this new project bag that I've had for a little while now, but I've never used it. I don't actually know who it's by. It was gifted to me by my friend Marina from Handmade Koala. And it is so pretty. So nice. And I've put some yarn and some needles and notions in here. 
I will be casting on the Sophie scarf by Petite Net today. So I printed off the pattern while I was at the office. <laughs> Although I don't think I'll take it in with me. I usually use my Knit Companion app on my phone to read patterns, but it's always nice to have a printed copy if you can. And I'm using the Regia Cashmere 4 ply. I think I'll hold it double. Well, I kind of need to. The needles I bought for it kind of mean that I need to hold it double. I could have done it single because I didn't really want to pair it with the mohair. I do like mohair, but I am a little sensitive around my neck with mohair. I have noticed sometimes I get a little itchy with mohair sweaters. I wear them anyway, but usually I have something underneath, like there's a layer of a t-shirt or a, usually a t-shirt or a singlet underneath my sweaters but can't really do that with a shawl or a scarf and I'm planning to make it a little bit bigger than the Sophie scarf but not as big as the shawl I don't think so we'll see how we go with it but my aim is to cast that on while my hair's getting colored and yeah should be pretty good very excited to get my hair done today it, it, it is not overdue it is due though <laughs> I've reduced the time between hair visits now and I go every five weeks just to get a touch up of my roots, which they need that refresh desperately, I've noticed over the last week. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm due for a trim today. I can't remember what we're up to. I have noticed this week though that it is getting so long. So I don't know. I don't know if I should cut it. What do you think? I'm starting to wonder, which makes me think that I'm heading towards wanting to cut it because normally I'm not keen to cut it at all but it is getting very very long although it's not annoying me either it's very well behaved at the moment <laughs> so maybe I should just leave it but we'll see how we go in there and I will check in with you again later hopefully I can get some footage inside the salon while I'm knitting on my Sophie scarf see how we go see how busy it is in there <laughs> and I'll check in with you again soon Oh my gosh, it's Friday already. <laughs> I've had a really, really busy week and there's not been a lot of making time. So I've not been recording as much as I thought I would. Yesterday was a work day and I think I did catch a little bit of my lunchtime walk, but that was probably about it. After work, I went to take my parents to the airport and well, spent the evening with them and then took them to the airport. So I got home really late. I did a tiny bit of knitting. I think I got through about three rows on my test knit before I fell asleep. <laughs> so it's not been the most productive week so far. Now today's Friday, it's another work day. And after work today, I'm planning to go see my friend who is hosting an Australia's biggest morning tea event for the Cancer Council. So it's fundraising for cancer research. So I'll be attending that briefly. People are walking past. <laughs> and we'll hopefully get home in time tonight to be able to sit down and do some knitting. We shall see. Um, I've been really enjoying my lunchtime walks, so I haven't been doing much knitting over lunch breaks this week. But I feel like the health benefits of the fresh air and the walking has been really good or have been really good. Lots of people walking past. I'm going to sign off there for now and I'll check in with you guys again later. I did, oh, before I go though, so many people. Um, I did start my Sophie scarf the other day and I don't think I can open this bag while I'm holding you here. Sorry about the <laughs> unbalanced perspective. 
So I did start my Sophie scarf the other day and I had a little bit of yarn bath, but I got through quite a bit of it. So the reason why I got through quite a bit of it is because I had some yarn bath that I needed to get through to make sure I wasn't getting tangled. So I'm pulling from the center. This is not the best way to show you. Might be better if I show you when I'm at home, but I just thought it would be handy to check in this morning because if it's raining at lunchtime, I might get some time to work on this. If it's not raining, I will go for a walk again. We shall see how the day progresses, but I, as I said, we'll check in with you again soon and hopefully have some more time to work on this and then tonight on my test knit. I guess it's time to head into work. Friday. Friday's a good day. It's the best work day of the whole week. <laughs> Saturday. It is the 20th of April and the day has started with a lot of chores, a lot of catch up from being at work all week. But we're just outside now and we're trying to map out where we might put our veggie patch. So Scott's just gone inside the shed. Oh, that sounds right. And we're thinking the veggie patch, I've got a jumper here that I was wearing. It was too hot to keep it on. We're thinking that the veggie patch will probably end up being in this area behind me here. So Scott's just gone to get some steaks so we can map it out because that will be our next household project, our next project for the property here that we're hoping to get finalized before spring comes. Autumn has started, so we've got a lot of time now to prep and build, hopefully. We think we have a lot of time time is a funny thing when you're doing household projects but we'll see how far we can get with it before spring comes but yeah the planning has started now I haven't had a chance to knit yet today it's been quite busy I've spent some time in the garden I've done some laundry I've stripped beds I've put washing away it's been a busy morning uh, but hopefully I get a chance to do some knitting later today I didn't get a chance to knit at all on Friday it was 
a late arrival home after the biggest morning tea event so I was too tired and I went straight to bed which is so odd but yeah I do want to show you some of my knitting and I want to talk about it so hopefully I'll have a chance to do that later today once we've finished some of our jobs and some of this planning see how we go it's been a very quiet knitting week actually some weeks are like that life needs to also happen even though I wish I could knit all day Hey, chuk 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 chuk, what's this? What is it? So good? These are the projects that I worked on during this past week. And even though I thought that I didn't have a lot of knitting time or get a lot done, when I've laid them out, it's actually quite nice to see the progress that I've made. So I started the week off with these socks and I actually knit the whole second sock from Saturday. I think I started it on Saturday and finished it on Monday night so that was two days to knit one sock so this pair was finished in time for my husband's birthday which made me really happy. Now these socks are knit in Finch Yarns yarn. I think this colorway is called the Late Eel and I've also included a contrast heel, cuff and toe on this pair mainly because these are DK weight socks and my husband really likes a long leg on his sock. So this allowed me to use as much of the main colour as possible and to make sure that I didn't run out to do both socks. So that was finished object number one and also the first project that I worked on this week. Actually, it's the only finished object. But yeah, very happy with that. Then I started my Sophie scarf. Now the Sophie scarf is a petite knit pattern and it has been very popular with a lot of knitters around the world and my mum has just actually restarted hers which inspired me to finally start mine. I'm using this beautiful yarn. This is a cashmere blend I believe. Let me find out. It's the Regia Cashmere 4-ply. It is 65% wool, 25% polyamide and 10% cashmere. It's a really lovely, lovely yarn. 
the other color is a number on here. It's color 085. I cannot remember what the colorway name is, but it does have a name when I put it in Ravelry. It is a beautiful sort of wine color. And I think the word wine might be in the name from memory. Can't really remember. But I am holding this yarn double. <laughs> and I had a bit of yarn buff. I spent quite a bit of time fixing that. I didn't record it because I just really wanted to fix it. So I am pulling from the outside and the inside, holding it double. And I'm knitting this on a bigger than recommended needle size. I've gone up to a US 7 or 4.5 millimeter needle for this project. So my gauge is a lot um, bigger, I guess, than the pattern recommends, but I'm actually not sad about it. I'm excited to have this a little bit bigger than the Sophie scarf. Not as big as a shawl, but it will be really nice to have this a little bit bigger than just a scarf, I think. Uh, my aim is actually to use up as much of that ball as possible. So that is the second project that I worked on. And realistically, I only really worked on this one for one of the days. So that's a lot of progress in one day or one evening after work. And then the thing that has, well, I've been wanting to work on the most is this lovely test knit. Now this is the Gumnut Cardigan by Mindful Making. And I'm testing this pattern for my friend Jane who I've spoken about in the podcast, and I'm very excited to be working this up. I am finding it is taking me a while to get through the yoke. I normally would have done this much faster, but life has been a little hectic the last week, as you would have seen. So I actually did do a quite a good bit of progress from the pink stitch marker down to where I am now. So I think that's around three plus inches maybe four. I'll, wait, I'll measure that as well. But I'm loving the way this is working up. The slip stitch detail with the colour work is really pretty. It's working up really nicely with that light speckled yarn. I am holding these two yarns together. Hopefully the colours represent okay. So this one is by Yarn Trader, which is my local yarn store. And I think it is in the colour Old Rose. If I'm wrong, I'll pop it on the screen. And this is a Drops Mohair Silk in, I think, cream. For the contrast, which is visible here in all of the slip stitches, um, I'm using some leftovers from Louis and Lola. Uh, this is a bit of leftover from my Shawlography, I think. Yeah, it's a beautiful colorway. And I feel like it goes really nicely with those. And it's just really created a gorgeous fabric and a bit of contrast there. That's quite subtle, but still very effective. So yeah, pretty happy with the progress this week. Especially for a week when I really didn't think that I did a lot of knitting. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this week of making. It has been so fun to record my week and share that with you. I don't know that that is a true representation of every week. It happened to be a very, very busy one, <laughs> but it was, that, that's real life, right? Like some weeks we'll get more making time, other weeks we won't. And I know a lot of people think that I knit a lot, especially in my real life. People think, wow, you're always knitting. Well, I'm, I'm not always knitting. I'm just finding any opportunity to knit that I possibly can because I love it. It is my downtime. It is my relaxing opportunity for the day, especially after long days at work. And I really, really get so much pleasure out of creating and making and having different projects on the go as well. Um, I, felt, I feel like I've been quite monogamous in my knitting lately but that hasn't really been represented in this particular week. I did work on three projects, <laughs> which is great. I might sign that off there now. I feel like this vlog may be a little longer than I had anticipated, especially seeing as I didn't spend that much time knitting. 
but I do thank you so much for joining me, for choosing to spend your time with me. And I'd love to know how you fit your making into your weeks, into your busy days. Uh, do you take your knitting wherever you go like I try to? <laughs> Do you actually feel comfortable taking it out and working on it in public as well? I'm usually okay with that, but sometimes I can get a little bit apprehensive about taking it out. So I'm really interested to know how you fit your knitting into your days. And do you think that you knit a lot? Do you think you'd like to knit more? <laughs> there could always be more knitting time, couldn't there? I will sign off there now. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next video.